hello students let's draw the uh, ray diagram for concave lens okay so the question will be asked as for a concave lens draw a ray diagram to show the formation of an image when the object is placed at infinity okay now uh, you can uh, draw it this way okay. it's two lines of same uh, same uh, length this and this and just draw the concave lens okay it's very easy to draw this one okay so this is a concave lens mn is the aperture so mn so if you measure uh, using ruler okay the total distance the aperture is from m to n here so it's around 3.5 so i have taken it as 1.7 as the center so let me draw the principal axis of concave lens okay so at the, at the same time i'll also mark the uh, uh, focus f1 and 2f1 okay so this is the principal axis okay so from here to here let's take three centimeter from here to here let's take three centimeter okay. so from here to here it is three and here to here it is three so this is f1 focus f1 at this position and this is 2 f1 okay which is also c1 okay now the first ray is coming from infinity and it is parallel to the principal axis so you can just draw a dark uh, sorry a la very light uh, uh, dotted line here like this so that you can and here also downwards so you can uh, the ray has to be refracted from this position and not this position it will be ref refracted from this position so the first ray of light is parallel to the principal axis okay and don't forget to draw these arrows this arrow okay so this is an incident ray now it is refracted okay now what i am going to draw is the most important part okay so what you do is from this position it is refracted so what you do is you hold your um, ruler at this position from f1 to this you should draw a straight line okay don't worry about the part after this you should be uh, you should focus on this point and this point okay so what you have to do is from here from here you draw a dashed line like this okay and this dashed line actually so this incident ray is coming here and it is getting refracted like this okay so this is your refracted ray but you um, you extend this refracted ray till here you draw a dashed line similarly you draw one more uh, ray that is parallel to the principal axis okay so let me draw it here and till here should be till here so the second ray that is uh, parallel to the principal axis so these are the per, per principal axis okay and what you do is now it will be refracted so this is a diverging lens means for what the one ray uh, they, they are not converged after refraction but they are diverged they go in different direction the rays go in different direction okay so here also it will go in this direction but how you will draw it this point and this f1 point you ensure that you, you join these points using a dashed line okay a dotted line like this don't worry about this part first ensure that these two points are joined and then extend it like this okay so this is the actual refracted ray so the, this is the incident ray this is the refracted ray and continue like this okay now so this is the position this is the point you can even extend these lines like this uh, this way and this line like this just extend it okay so th uh, this is the optical center okay ensure that you mark everything m n o f1 to f1 okay here f2 and 2 f2 are not marked okay so only f1 and 2 f1 are marked so these two are incident rays okay they have even shown this as the incident ray like this it is coming from o and it is passing through o straight without any deviation okay so these two are incident rays the object is somewhere at infinity so this is the uh, incident ray refracted ray the second incident ray refracted ray one more incident ray through o it passes without any deviation okay 
and extend it uh, extend these lines here so at the principal focus the image is formed at the principal focus okay so let's see in the textbook so uh, nature position and relative size of the image formed by a concave lens so position of the object is at infinity position of the uh, position of the object is at infinity position of the image is at focus f1 relative size of the image is highly diminished point size image and nature of the image is virtual and erect okay so this is how you have to draw the first diagram figure 10.17 if a 